Okay. What's up, everybody? LM Lamode in the Juice Star building. I'm here. We're doing Valentine's Day love and stuff. Pink, red, and all those other colors nobody really likes. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Lea Masika, better known as LM Lamode on social media. I am short, fun size, fun size. Don't call me short. Also, don't hug me in public because I don't like that. My name is Leia Masika. I'm a fashion designer, blogger, YouTuber, all that stuff. If it's fashion, I probably do it. Let's talk about love in general. Oh my God. Do you believe in love and what does love mean to you? I really don't want to talk about this because I feel like it's so personal, but yes, I do believe in love. I'm a hopeless romantic. Like I watch romance movies for fun, like every day, like maybe like three, four times a day. Like, it's fine, yeah, I believe in love. Let's leave it there. Uh, card number three, or is this card number two? Is there such a thing as love at first sight, or is it a myth? There is such a thing. Don't let people lie to you. I feel like love comes in all shapes and forms, but definitely there's such a thing as love at first sight. I think my first love was at first sight, <laughs> but we won't talk about where that ended. On a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid do you become when you fall in love? I feel like love doesn't make you stupid. I feel like accommodating somebody else makes you stupid. But like on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I accommodate people? Like 5. Okay, my best and worst Valentine's story. I feel like my best and worst Valentine's story is like all one story. I think I was in the ninth grade. I had this biggest crush on a kid who was in the eighth grade. I know, Cradle Snatcher, Kruger vibes, Ben 10 vibes. Obviously back then it didn't have like, there was no definition. Also back then age was a number. Like that's what everyone was saying. They're like, age is nothing but a number. Anyways, I had a crush on this guy called Michael Baku. He was a grade below me. He um, did this cute thing. He wrote a note or a poem and gave it to like a lot of people. And then it eventually got to me. When it got to me, I started asking everybody. So like I literally had to go through all these people to get to him, which took me all day. Cause like I have class, like you can't, there's only break time and whatever that other break is before you leave school. So literally, I spent the entire day looking for this guy, knowing it was him, but I still had to go through the process. So like, everybody would be like, oh, who, who gave you the note? Oh, I got it from Jesse. Go to Jesse, Jesse, did you write me this? No, I got it from Sam. Like literally talking to guys the whole day that don't even like you. Anyways, ended up, it was this guy that I actually liked. And then when I got to him, finally, he pretended like he had no clue what I was talking about. And I'm like, why can't you just tell me you love me? Like, <laughs> why couldn't you just tell me you love me? What is your all time favorite romantic movie and why? Wow. My list is very long because I watch everything from like modern romance to like old school romance. I'll maybe say Tristan and Isol. I love their love story. And all of y'all are looking like, who the hell is that? All right, guys, now that you've been super personal with me, like, don't even talk to me about love because I'm not even about that life. Like, I don't want to hear about it. Don't DM me about it. I'm not doing that. I'm single-ish, not single. Don't DM me, I'm not single. And this is Elam Lamode, and I'm out. Thank you, Juice Drop.